Hey, lady. Hey. Hey. Oh, yes. This is going to be a fun one because we're about to be asking for everything. Okay. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So so this episode is the power of asking episode 65. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Yes. Yes. This is this is huge. And I think this episode derived from a lot of different conversations, everything from asking what you want in the workplace, career wise to just in life in general. Okay. So okay. and tied yes. it into our words of the year and our phrases for the year, right? So mm-hmm. yes, affirmations, confidence, your mantra, Shauna, all of that. It goes back to owning your power. It sure does. It sure does. And my father used to say, if you don't ask, you don't get. But did I listen? Hmm. I'm like 50 now. Well, not but, don't get bad, Linda. <laughs> that's right. I know. It's like, yeah, it's like, oh, so. You don't ask. I got a story about that. Yes, Mm. yes, yes, yes. I'm telling you. So yeah, this is this is gonna be a good one. We hope you heartbeats and listeners out there tune in for this because it 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 stands the test of time. You know, we've seen examples of this, and I'm like, what the heck? I'm standing right here. This person just (laughs) opened their mouth, or they just wrote it down, or they put themselves out there and they asked for it and they got it. It's like, dang, it could be me, Mm -hmm. but I'm playing. (laughs) But you playing. Yeah, <laughs> right. Exactly. The power of asking. Jeanette, so since Shana brought it up earlier, because it's it, it kind of started with <laughs> and you. And you know, it just dawned on me why <laughs> you ladies, I was going to call y'all the H word, heifers. Why you beautiful, beautiful ladies. Yes. <laughs> that Jeanette, oh. we think. We think. Was something that you <laughs> we the people. Exactly. And it didn't Why were we just talking about that? Until, <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. until I hit the button and you started talking and I said, oh, she about to throw this to me. Oh, yeah. I just yeah, went right over my head. Up. Damn, I'm telling you, it's like that three, two, one in basketball. Let's go. Tampa, <laughs> Florida, you know, all the different yes. let's go. So this conversation is going to take on many forms, but it's all relevant. It is all relevant. And so kind of the kind of not that was not even nowhere near grammatically correct what I was about to say where this initially started from was um a friend of mine who actually is my life insurance agent too uh he he reached out to me like one day like he sent me a text message and was like hey uh, I'm starting this podcast love you to have your support I'm sending this to like 100 people that I know and he was like I think that's like five bucks or something like that I don't know. I can't even remember the context of the text. You know what? I probably could find it in the midst of this episode. And I was like, no, we were like probably in season two, maybe Mm -hmm. episodes. And, and it was just like, we have not just asked people for what we wanted. Right. And when we finally did, and people was like, oh, heck yeah. We was like, oh shoot. That's all we had to do was just ask them. And they just be like, yeah, we was just waiting for you to ask. And um, it brought up a lot of things. And one of it is just how men naturally, and there's studies and things out there, you can Google it. And I want to ask Kobe to be quiet right now. Um, that, <laughs> that will tell you that men naturally are more direct about what they want. They're not afraid to go after the things that they want and ask for what they want, even when they don't feel like they can get it. When it comes to applying for jobs, women mo- will more likely say, oh, I don't meet the all 10 of these qualifications, so I'm not going to apply. And men might have one or two and be like, oh, I'm good. Or they might not have none and be like, nah, I can do this job. And they yeah. will apply for the job. And then when they get it, we're like, I can't believe he got it. And it's because, ladies, sometimes we're too passive about our own our own life. And the things that we want out of our life. And sometimes we have to be a little bit more aggressive and grab them by the and go for it. (laughs) (laughs) it Okay. (laughs) So what has your experience taught you, ladies, about not asking Mm. for what you want? I know it's that I'm you know, for me, that's why I picked the word. I chose the word confidence, or I should say it chose me this year because there's been a lot of just change and 
just, you know, from a career standpoint, from a direction of creativity. And I've been afraid in some ways to do some of those things. I think last year, Jeanette, or maybe the year before last, LinkedIn, if you're familiar with the LinkedIn platform, we had um, Priscilla on here, one of yes. our guests. She was, just, you know, recently. she was amazing. Hi, Priscilla. And she is just like, I met her, you know, through the dream career program that she has. And just, you know, we were talking about LinkedIn and LinkedIn recently changed some of their, I guess, requirements. You can have a creator's profile. Oh, I was scared to death, right? I was like, I'm not changing my profile because I'm connected with 50 zillion people or 50, 11 people at my job, at my job, my <laughs> career job. And I'm like, uh, if I change this to a creative profile, they're going to see that I'm also a creative and may not think of me as a technical person. It took me months, but I finally did it. And I put a post out there saying, look, I'm a creative but I also can, you know, be in this space as well. And I, I deserve to be here. So it took confidence to help me to get to that, that space. And I'm like, I'm, I'm just going to do it. And yeah, did I ask to do it? Yes. Yep. I mean, I, I guess yes and no, but I think because I didn't go for it, I was really hard on myself and I mm-hmm. felt like, yeah. I, I can't do this for those reasons. So since then, I think I've posted on LinkedIn a few times and yeah, I'm still a career girl, but I'm also a creative. And I, I was like, I'm not going to ask for permission to, to be in that space. So the power of asking kind of like is like, it's kind of dual sided in multiple ways, I think. Yeah. And yeah, I go back to what my dad said, you don't ask, you don't get. You know, you got to take it sometimes. Yes. Priscilla was episode 30, season two, pursuing mm-hmm. your dream career with confidence. Yes. That was and my, so important. Yes. So amazing. Yeah. And she talked about that too, right? So she mm-hmm. was talking about how like she teaches her clients not to um, be passive about their careers. Like mm-hmm. she's like, I'm not the one that you're going to come to and tell you to just apply and wait. She was like, no, you're going to go after it. And then you're going to also talk to people. And so in like the asking, like you also have to be intentional. But before I get to that, I'm going to go to skip ahead. Shauna, did you have anything you wanted to add to what we're talking about? I do. You know, I do. I'm starting off with stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Because when you start getting into this asking game, People, <laughs> you better be ready for the yes. You got to get ready. My mantra this year that I created took me months to come to. I am an inspirational, motivational powerhouse who is ready for the limitless opportunities that is crafted and designed for my life. Mm-hmm. It's, it's we're almost 90 days into this year my yep. ass has been whooped with this mantra <laughs> <laughs> go hold on go on give give them the mantra one more time because just in case the people was say it again yelling, yelling, yelling at their kids i want y'all to hear this <laughs> for the people in the back i am an inspirational motivational powerhouse who is ready for the limitless opportunity that is crafted and designed for my life. Mm -hmm. And I repeat, my ass has been whooped the last (laughs) My drop. This mantra. Because when you say it out loud, you better be prepared because it's already preparing itself for you. Mm -hmm. I've had everything in the kitchen sink thrown at me on decisions that I've had to make on the spot. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. think you want it or you don't. Yeah. <laughs> that part. Woo. So everyone knows that I'm trying to oh, strike in the trying. Sorry. Everyone oh. knows that I am going to complete the book, Big Magic, the end mm-hmm. of this week. <laughs> I'm about yeah. three chapters Imagine. away. So by the time this airs, it will be, she'll be I'll on the new book. Yeah. Yes. yes. So this, I just read a chapter that talked about being devoted to being inquisitive, keeping your curiosity in the forefront of yourself. Because when you're inspired or inspiration hits you, if you're not ready 
to meet the needs of that inspired idea that came your way. I think, Jeanette, you mentioned this in another episode. It will float away to somebody else. Mm -hmm. How many times have you seen things in, in life and you're like, that was my idea. Yeah. I, that. I really was going to do something with that. Right. But you didn't. And at some point it came your way because at some point you asked for something. Mm -hmm. It came your way and you weren't ready. Multiple you know, you weren't serious for it or or maybe to yourself, the timing was off. So mm -hmm. she talks a lot about talk yourself how, out of it or talk yourself out of it. Inner mm -hmm. critic, all the things. She talks a lot about how inspiration will leave and go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And so she says, if that happens to you, don't fret. Stick to devoting your time to staying inquisitive and curious about what interests you, because mm -hmm. then it will lead you back down the path of, you know, inspiration and that big idea. And then possibly you'll be ready to meet the needs or the challenge. So I say this, be careful what you ask for, but don't be afraid to ask yeah. because we can't further ourselves or get to our life purpose or journey or why we're here if we don't. And we can't be afraid to take risks and step outside the box. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about the power of asking. I'm not great at it. It's the one thing that my husband always used to get on me about, like, you're not asking for enough money. You're not asking for enough expectations. You're not asking for, for enough. You are worthy. You are worth it. You are this, you are that. And somebody else can tell you what you are. But as Linda D. Mallory is leaning into the confidence space right now, you know, if your confidence level is not at a certain space, I don't care what inspiration come your way. You ain't doing diddly squat. <laughs> too hard to move that's true it's yeah. too hard to move if you're not you know if you're not ready if you're not ready for it yeah. so I I need to do better with this um with the heart of chat man I'm big bad gangster with the heart of chat you y'all should hear some of the stuff I'll be telling the heart of chat that's gonna happen to us yeah. when I think about <laughs> myself on a solo tip I'd be like uh, yeah, I would like my life to do this and be that, you know, and I'm not as forceful as I am. And I don't, I, I just feel like we're, we're, we, the three of us are such a huge powerhouse individually in our own way that collectively it's so big and massive that I believe the hype, everything the heartbeat say, they like, you're going to be on Oprah. Yep. We are. I yep. mean, I believe all of the hype around mm -hmm. the heart of chat, but sometimes when it comes to myself, individual you know Lee I I get back into the old ways of being afraid to ask and and um I want to do better so I can have better because I know better mm -hmm. yeah and say that confidently I mean like Shauna we were we were kind of halfway joking earlier we we're like we're gonna have a whole plane I was like yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> so I was like well, it, yeah it just makes you have a plane y'all like, have our logo yeah. on the outside yes yep mm -hmm. yep so exactly. amazing. Um, disco yeah. ball in the middle, red mm -hmm. carpet down the middle. Oh, that would be really cool. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Confetti coming down. Oh. Everybody. <laughs> Jeanette said no. Did you say no? I, I didn't say no. I'm just I'm just <laughs> taking it all in. This yeah. is her ask. Oh, my, there you go. oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, I'm not gonna rain on your ask. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. But um, but like Shauna, though, like you have to be very intentional mm -hmm. when you ask for certain things. And um, I just feel like people pray passively. Mm -hmm. They meditate passively. They manifest. They passively create vision boards. Like yeah. when you if you're going to do it, like you have to like be all in. Mm -hmm. And you have to be invested and you have to be in I'm talking to me. <laughs> and you have to, I look, you know, I always be talking to myself too. You have to be intentional about that thing, right? Mm -hmm. Um like, oh, <laughs> I heard, oh, somebody I was what was I was reading, and I'm gonna find it too, right after I finish talking about it. But it was just like, you know, like, oh God, you know, give me a car. 
and then he give you the car and you're like well, i ain't really want that car i'm like yeah so you should probably be a little more specific <laughs> give me a car that has that is you know reliable i'm gonna hold up for a few years that i don't have to pay an arm and a leg for that it's gonna get me where i need to go like you know what i'm saying i don't have to use premium gas and spend all my money right. gas prices are ridiculous right now mm. but like just being real very clear on what it is that you want and i know um Shauna, you were talking about that to us at the end of last year. It was like, you know what? I just ain't been asking. I haven't been asking. The opportunities asking. are out here. I'm sitting up here waiting for somebody to give me a stage to speak or this or that. I need to just yeah. go on and just get it myself. Just ask for it right. and just do it. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. And I and it's so it's so weird and not to just say, like, you know, and like I said, the numbers are out there, but I was having, I've had this conversation a couple of times the last couple of days. Cause like, it's so funny to me, like, um, as women, like the belief that we have in ourselves, And I don't know if it's, I'm, I'm sure I do know. It's like years of cultural projections on women that you have to be a certain way. Women are mm-hmm. a certain way. And so I met, so I run a program, a nonprofit here locally and we have a mentorship component to our program it's for entrepreneurs and so right now our enrollment and applications are very high women minority women which is in alignment with what's happened nationally women are fed up they're tired or they're taking the control of like earning money into their own hands and they're taking action Mm-hmm. And so like, while my classroom, like this current one that's about to graduate is 100% women and minority women at that, my mentors are the opposite. It is majority men, majority middle-aged white men. And I appreciate them. They had so much value to the program. And even they are surprised because they're in, in awe of what these women are doing and how creative they are and how like resilient they are. And they just like, oh, wow. Like they are just like, you like- And that's not new, Jeanette. Mm -mm, No. That's not new about women. Women have always been this way from the beginning of time. We just Mm -hmm. was never given an opportunity. And like you said, because of the cultural uh, social norms from different generations, we've had to sit on our talents or everything was at home, you know, hidden away mm-hmm. and and it then it caused us to believe that we weren't allowed to be able to wear different hats or titles mm-hmm. you know in the public i'm pretty sure they're blown away by how many of them have children and full blown oh, family yeah. and they're up here running businesses well but Great. then the thing on the flip side is these same women will grow their business they'll be successful but they don't have the belief in themselves that they can mentor somebody else Hmm. I don't know enough. I haven't done it long enough. Or I only know this. And and where the men are like, I had one guy literally, he was like, I mean, I got several failed businesses, but I can tell you all the things not to do. Sure, I'll come uh, mentor. And you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's really like it's so hard. Like it should not be this hard, but it is hard. It is hard. Like I can't get the men who are starting up to come ask me for help, but I can get them once they've reached a certain peak to come back and pour into my class. And the women will come ask for help, but I can't get them to come and pour come back. back. In. Yeah. And it's yeah. just a lack of belief and count, you know, just that own, like we said, it all goes back to owning your power and everything that you have is within you. The the level that you reach, it was for your own personal success, but it was also for you to be able to give back to somebody else, to share your story, to bring mm-hmm. somebody else up. It's yes. not the, the stuff that we go through and that we do is not just just for us. And so that's right. It's yeah. bigger than us. Our it whole is. purpose yeah. is bigger than us. Right. Be a trailblazer in this space. You know, yeah. as I, I think about that leading by example. You know, look, I mean, if it's if it's like 20 men and one woman, you know, look at what she's doing and and follow her, you know, be or be that person. Be that right. person. Ask those questions. I mean. Yeah, I mean, being stretched in that capacity. Like recently, I go back to you know the dream career piece, and you know, I recently had to ask for something at my job, which I, it took me months to ask because I was like, okay, I, I'm going to ask for this designation for this role that you know other people are doing. They have a designation. I'm like, well, what will happen if I just ask 
for this, you know, designation, which would be attached to my myself, my job, my status. I'm like, well, they, well, they got assistant program manager. It's like, like, okay, I'm doing the same work. I should have that same. So I did, I did finally ask, you know. So it was like I was nervous, but I did it. I had to push through. So it's that is that confidence. And I was like, because I have a new boss now. now again uh you know having that and and having the confidence and the and the time and space to, to ask I'm like, ah. yeah <laughs> so um y'all listening don't can't see this but those watching can see that our, our Linda froze with some beautiful oh. smiles on her face, but it's all yeah. good. It's back. All you good. coming back, <laughs> We got You're her resilient. Back. We got her back. No her Wi-Fi back. can hold you and down. So while right. I wait for Linda to get all the way back and give her some time. Uh, speaking of asking, I'm going to ask all of my list- our listeners to please take some time. If you're listening to us on Apple podcast if you listen to spotify to take a moment and give us a rate and a review because it helps us to be able to get this message out to more people and um without you you know and we thank you in advance yes we definitely thank you in advance so linda yes back back to your ask oh yeah i asked and you don't ask you don't get the whole time nervous you know, sweating bullet. <laughs> no, fortunately, we were on Zoom, so they, they can't, they can only see this. I'm on my desk, you know, mm-hmm. but it really is. A, take that opportunity, take that chance, do a drive run with a friend. You know, hey, I'm call up your girl. Hey, girl, look, I'm, I'm about to ask for something at work. Can I do a drive run with you? That's like one of my favorite things to do. You know what really gets me is the worst thing that can happen is a two-letter word. No. And we put ourselves into a whole frenzy over no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. They it say is. you should strive for a hundred no's. Like when you're working on like a project and you need to get like people on board or whatever. Mm-hmm. Start working. And once you get past those hundred no's, it's smooth sailing from there. And, and you probably won't ever really get a hundred of them, but you know, make that your goal. Like I'm yeah. gonna get a hundred yeah. no's because that means you're putting yourself out there and that you're asking. True. That's um, really the goal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. that's the real lesson in it. Right. right. Exactly. exactly. It reminds me of the book, the one of the books that I've ever read that's close to asking, in my opinion, based on the way I read it and how I interpreted it was Shonda Grimes' book, The Year of Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 That book right there. Man, when I read that book. That book made me think I could just, I could just say yes to everything, you know, and the more she said yes, like the, the, it was like the more opportunities was coming her way that was aligned with what she wanted versus, you know what I mean? Turning things down or that's a really good book. I really like that book. Yeah. I'm reading, um, Feeding Your Soul, Tabitha Brown's Mm -hmm. book. Yes. I love her. I love that. Yes, I ha- I'm reading she that too. So yeah. good. Is that a hardback, Jeanette? Yes, it is. Good. And when mm-hmm. I when you take off her cover, I love oh. that on her hardback. Oh, it's, um, take out her hair, or ear. I don't know. It's, it's um. Oh, what does she say? Her hair's name was Donna. Donna. Yeah. Oh, Donna. really? Uh-huh. I didn't yeah. realize that. Yeah. yeah. Her she hair's is such a sweetheart. Donna. She, she is. is. She is Amazing. from. She from North Carolina. Yes, yeah, she is. Greensboro, right? Greensboro. Yes. I, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love her. Love she was her. just in town over the holiday, and she mm-hmm. was doing book signing here. Mm-hmm. And um, oh, no, I was trying to, because we're only an hour away. We were trying to drive up, but uh, our schedules just didn't align. And I'm like, oh, God, she's here. Because she's yeah. right now because she's working that brand on a major level. Oh, I'm yeah. so mm-hmm. proud of her. She's doing she, some amazing things. Starting off with TikTok videos with recipes. That's what I heard. I didn't I didn't get hip to her till she was over on IG. Yeah. 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 And it was yeah. all her daughter. So I'm like, oh, put that up there on TikTok and just making videos at home. But 
Her daughter helped her change her whole life. Oh, yeah. That's for she sure. She was on Today Show. She had restaurants <laughs> open. <laughs> yeah, I just listened to her. That's what made me get her book was I listened to the interview that she did on the Jamel Hill podcast. Um, it was oh, really yeah. good. It was really good. She's hilarious. She was on Good Morning America mm-hmm. last year. Yeah, and, and Today Show of last year. She, she everywhere. <laughs> she I'm like, Today <laughs> Show. My sister. We can yes. get there. We got yes. this. Yes. Um, one of the things I would that kind of apply that I had highlighted in her book, and I'm not gonna tell you all the whole book, but just this one part. Um, it's well, two parts. It says, um, only says, one, Jeanette. You said only one. I mean, two. You're gonna get these two. I ain't even asking. You're gonna get these two. No, it's fine. <laughs> Our basket. <laughs> Um, so she was saying like that, she said, um, as an actress, influencer, and motivational speaker, I'm clear that none of these titles, none of these opportunities came about because I said, oh, God will bring it to me. That's the passive, mm-hmm. right? When people just be like, oh, oh, God will do it for me. That is passive. He'll I, do I it. Yeah. He'll do it. She said, it was because I believe God was something more for me. I believe God had something more for me. And I just kept working until he said, yes, now's the time. Mm. and she said and i continue to do that because even though things are great now i know there's still more to come and Mm. so like so sometimes it's the physical ask and sometimes it's the ask in your actions and you sometimes have to show people and show god the universe or whoever it is that you pray to that I'm asking for this by showing you I'm obedient now. And when people, mm-hmm. and I, it just kind of hurt me because somebody was, at, was saying, what, what do y'all value? And in my mind, I'm like, I value my time. I value my time. Una, una yeah. baby. And they said for every, anybody that thought in their head, oh, I value my time. And you're late everywhere you go. Mm-hmm. You do don't not value, value your time. time. <laughs> you don't value time. Oh, you don't. That's right. And I was like, right. and that in my mind changed me because I'm, I'm not like lately everywhere and I'm definitely more on time now. But back then when I first heard it, I was like, oh, well, excuse <laughs> me. I do value time. I, maybe yeah. I would like to value time. But like your actions. Mm-hmm. They need to, to be aligned. It is. And it's back yeah. to what you said, Shauna, you were saying that earlier. Like you have like when you're asking for things, you you better be ready to walk through that door because he's already lining things up for you. Mm-hmm. You just have to be ready to walk through the door. Be ready um, so you don't have to get ready. That's how mm-hmm. I feel about accountability. A lot of people always are talking about, oh yeah, you know, I don't like that, you know, people they, you know, they tell me one thing, they do another, and da 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 da. But in their own lives. When it's flipped around, mm-hmm. and they're doing it themselves. They give themselves a green light on it, but they expect all those around it. You'll never see the mirror or the reflection because mm-hmm. you're not being you're not being an accountable partner yourself to your own self. Yeah. So how can you trust somebody else to be accountable if you can't even be accountable to yourself? Right. Exactly. 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 exactly linda was talking earlier about like her dad and just you know how he's like you know mm-hmm. close mouth don't get fed and i can remember like going through a really hard time as a single mom and i think i had i think i had lost a job i was in between jobs and my mom knew i needed help with my car note mm. and first of all can we give it up to the days when car notes was like $300. Man, I missed it. My car note was, car note was $210. 250 I had, a, I had a Nissan Sentra. I'm like, you know, yes. the times that you thought you were struggling. And yes. then you look back, like, can I get that struggle back? Let's not talk about the fuel prices today. <laughs> oh, no, we're not going to talk about I that. I remember you pulling up at 99 cents a gallon, like, yeah. yeah. Yes. I was like, Ooh. 89 cents. But yes. I can remember, and I might have said it on here one time before, and like, my mom was like, so she, me and her had talked and I was just like venting to her like, oh, you know, I need help making my car payment. I don't know what I'm going to do. And she was like listening to me and she was ready to just write me a check. Um, Cause mm-hmm. her mom knew like, I wasn't like just someone that just didn't work. Like, you know, this is a circumstance that happened and you know, well, I'll be right back up. And I always pay my parents back because they just some type of parents. Now, you know, I got to give them their money back. And so this had gone on for like a week and I've been stressing like, leading up to the one that was due and one day she was like can you please just ask me for the money already and i was like what what you talking about really yeah she said now wanda 
She said, because Wanda I said told that. your dad. It's Wanda. Oh, yeah. Miss Wanda. Sorry, Miss Wanda. <laughs> Wanda. The woman told- that quilted a blanket for me. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> That's a whole thing. It makes that my background. Right, exactly. <laughs> She was like, because I told you, I was talking, she was basically taking my complaints back to my dad. Mm. And she was like, damn, we just need to give her the money. And my dad said, did she ask for it? And she said, well, no, but I know she needed it. He said, well, when she asks for it, we'll give it to her. Wow. And she listened to me complain and he listened to her complain about it. And he said, I'm not giving it to her until she asked. And finally, she was like, can you just ask for money? Your father is not going to let me give you this money and let you oh ask God. for it. And I was like, oh. Mike and I borrowed the money. She's like, yes, come over here and get it. <laughs> wow. Nice. Yeah. But it just like it's it's <sighs> just it matters. And, it does. and it does. even in relationships, right? I know it's not a relationship one, but like you know how they say men be like, We are not mind readers, ladies. Tell me mm-hmm. what you want. Tell <laughs> me what you want. Oh yeah. Tell me what, what you need. Tell me if it ain't good enough for you, babe. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Linda. Hey. Oh. Tell me what you need. Tell me what you need. Anyway, and that, that you did true. this. You did this to that. <laughs> it's that word association. I'm gonna say another yeah. word and y'all gonna start singing. Um, see how many times I can make y'all break out in the song in one episode. <laughs> that was like in relationships have you had moments right linda (laughs) we ready have y'all had moments where you didn't explicitly ask and you assume that they should just know and you got your feelings (laughs) yes yeah the answer is yes yes you knew i was hungry i'm sitting on the left side of the couch not the right (laughs) side (laughs) you bring me french fries no, we my different sauce. What does this face say? <laughs> you always know, which means you didn't know. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That is so true. Very yeah. true. There's no no shame in asking, but I, I str- well I struggle asking for help. But like there, but there is there really is no shame in asking. Like you said, yeah. first someone can say. Sometimes it, we no. feel like that we're. I feel like we we say we're deserving. Mm. But we don't act like we're deserving. We don't believe it. We don't no, believe we it. We don't believe it. Mm-hmm. And we, mm-hmm. you know, one of the, my favorite sayings is two words. You're enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. If you truly believe that you're enough, you will ask for whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's I'm talking right. to myself right now, heartbeats. Yeah. That's right. And we're not just. We're I got to get fuego in this behind. I got to get to moving. Like I said, we're not doing no more <laughs> passive prayers, no passive manifestation practices, no, no, and no more with this trying word. word. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna strike we're doing that trying word. You are, are you doing are. it? Strike, 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 strike. Mm-hmm. Yeah, trying to strike the motion. <laughs> one of my facilitators what she said like when we we're talking to our entrepreneurs like she they're like, oh well, you know, I don't have, I don't I haven't started my business, and she was like, yet. And they were like, what? It's like, mm-hmm. and each, whenever you say something that you don't have or that you haven't done, she said, you need to say yet, yet. because you're mm-hmm. going to, I haven't done it yet. And That's she right. makes, right. stops everybody in their tracks. Like mm-hmm. you just have to be very yeah. intentional about the words you that you use. You very intentional. About yes. and, be, and, and, and be okay to change it right there mid sentence. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Change no, it. No, Stop no. it. Do you know oh. that that's not the right thought? Don't accept that just because it's the go to or don't push mm-hmm. it down. Right. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Don't mm-hmm. push it down. Are we listening to. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> let me re- let me rephrase. I'm going to back up and start over. Mm-hmm. There you go. There you go. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You gotta create the life you want, but you have to open up your mouth and ask for it. Mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. Be ready for it. Yep. And go for it. Talking to me, y'all. Talking to myself. Mm-hmm. Live the life you want. But to do it. Live the life you want. My real mirror talk. <laughs> <laughs> y'all see my reflections series. That's 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 on a minor level. My real talk in the mirror is serious. It's real serious. I got to stay up. Yeah. 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 Some people think that it's, it's, it's like is selfish and we talked about this humility thing and we haven't really talked about it in detail we kind of like talked yeah, about it that's a another little bit podcast. here and there. Yep. 
But oh, yeah, like, yeah. we feel like, oh, well, if I ask and, you know, you know, what if somebody else needs it? Well, I don't really need it that much. And, you know, somebody else might need it more than me. Like, what? No. Right. It's crazy. Love yourself and mm. cheer for yourself as hard as you do for other people. <laughs> want it for yourself as much as you want it for other people. Like you can't just because it may ne- it may never be someone in your life that'll come around and want it for you as hard as you want it for you for you. Mm-hmm. And so sometimes you have to you have to want and it. For even yourself. so, I mean, you can't take that. That's like mm-hmm. taking somebody else's happiness and trying to make it yours. It's not yours. Yeah, you right. gotta dig deep and pull that shit out of you. I mean, it's that simple. Mm-hmm. That is shot in you. Cleveland, Shauna, I don't give up. up. Yeah, no. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Clee. Welcome, C L E. C L E. My name is Shauna Hibbett. Brooklyn in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you? The C L E. Who do you? <laughs> <laughs> yes definitely. love this is my favorite creative project to date and i have created a lot in my lifetime <laughs> this is my favorite because i really the heart of chat i really really i am truly myself all yeah. the way around mm-hmm. i'm not like that i can't be like that in all of the creative spaces that i'm in agreed agreed why this has to be full time for a sister right here that's right Gotta ask for it. Talking about somebody thirsty. I'm thirsty about this mm-hmm. ask. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Right. Definitely. Oh, I love it. But yeah, I knew we were gonna have a lot to say yeah. <laughs> about this. So yep. one, believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. Stop sweating the no. It, it is not that serious. It's not that deep. Just like, okay, yeah. no problem. I'm okay. not for you. Thank you. Next. That's what my late husband taught me. Next. Moving right along. Yep. Moving right along. (laughs) That's something else that Tab says in her book. Like when people don't believe in you, like when you're saying, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And people be like, "Mm mm-hmm, yeah, okay. She was like, you said, most people will tell you, you know, Mm -hmm. just don't tell them people no more. Don't say nothing to them no more. She said, no, keep telling them. Because (laughs) when it comes, they need to know that you are already foresaw this. And then I yeah. see, she said, so the I told you so will be in the proof and you ain't got to go back and be like, well, I had been working on this all this time. She said, no, they're going to know because you need to keep telling them. Yeah. Well, I, I got a different idea about that. <laughs> I will stop telling the haters because them gonna be, they're going to be the first ones to buy tickets to come in my vicinity. Oh, you already know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's when of the proof course. is in the pudding. Mm-hmm. Of course. Oh yeah, people always want to see. They always want to lurk. Always lurking in the shadows, in the background. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah. So believe in yourself. Don't sweat the no. Mm-hmm. Haters make acts, it greater. Acts with yep. intention, like serious intention. Like yes, we talk about this in one of our workshops with our heartbeats about um, really figuring out what it is that you want. Like mm-hmm. so, whatever is the thing that you're going after. What do you really want that to look like? Be specific, right. like Jeanette life. said earlier. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. To be specific very act. clear, very specific. Mm-hmm. Like, Something happened to me personal. I'm not, I don't want to get into the details of it, but my podcast sisters know what it is. And um, it can't, like I said, these 90 days has just been a, a beautiful whirlwind, a beautiful whirlwind <laughs> based on the mantra. <laughs> and uh I, I, I was kind of boohooing, like, yeah, this happened, that happened. La, la, la. So that came on Marco Polo. She said, you asked for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> she said, you asked that, that. She started going through all the little things that, that I was on Marco Polo mm-hmm. all last year and the year before. I just oh, this that and that and that and that that and 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 that I was like, girl, go on, go on somewhere. <laughs> it was like, is she really, is she complaining about what she been asking for? <laughs> is that what's happening here? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> I was like, girl, go on somewhere. <laughs> I had to pick my face up off the ground, come back on Marco Polo and say, you right, Jeanette. Well, I did. I did. I did. You're right, I did. right. I did. right. You're right. I'm going to accept this because this is what I wanted. <laughs> sometimes it, I, came, sometimes it came at me hard, heavy and hard. <laughs> I'd be feeling bad, but then I'd be like, like 
I love y'all too much to not be real with you. Yes. I love you too much because I would want the same thing in return. Yeah. Agreed. Check. Check me, boo. Who gonna check yes. it? Check Who gonna me. Check you? We the got real, all my real today. My real ones gonna. Check I love me. you, Jeanette. Jeanette, <laughs> when she want to be held accountable for something, and it it a lot of times when she asks Linda and I to hold her accountable for stuff, it's stuff that most people would shy away from or be like, "How dare you?" Mm-hmm. Yeah. Step to me and mm-hmm. remind me right. about ABC. I don't think so. I got this. And mm-hmm. she just come on now, she's not like. I'm gonna need y'all to hold yeah. me accountable. Everybody's not like that. They be getting mad at me in their feelings. Like mm-hmm. you wanna you ask me for a spreadsheet, I gave you a spreadsheet. You know? <laughs> Yo, but I do that at work with my managers. Like, <laughs> let me get a new manager and they send me an email and be like, uh, can you do X, Y, and Z? And then like, so I just need to let you know up front that um, yes, I can do this, um, but I need you to give me a deadline. Because if you don't give yep. me a deadline, yep. I don't know if you really want me to do this. It, <laughs> it, it, it either is thing. important or it's not important. Right. So, what works right. best for me, my right. style as an employee. Right. Hence the spreadsheet. Is, know thyself. Know thyself. That's right. I need you to be clear on when you want this and how soon. You, mm-hmm. I can I can drop everything and give it to you today, or I can wait. And he was like, "Oh, I like that." He was like, "Yeah, no, I could definitely do that." I was like, "Okay, thank you." That's all I need. Thank you kindly. Yep. Uh-oh. And don't sweat the small stuff. Like, that's one thing I do love about you, Jeanette. Like, Jeanette have a day, come in, and there just be a lot going on. She'll come on Marco Polo. She'll tell us about the different balls that got dropped, right? We all drop balls. We're mm-hmm. all doing a million and thousand <laughs> things. Yeah. And before, we used to live in a world where you were indoors. Then you was living in a world where it was half in, half out. We all the way out, y'all, and That's trying right. to wish we can get back to the indoors and get mm-hmm. things back, you know, the way we want to. And she'll come on sometimes and talk about things. And what I love about it is she would go through it, talk herself through it. Then she'll come up with ways that she needs to solve it, or she'll ask us to hold her accountable. And then she moves on. Like she doesn't get stuck or stay there. And so not sweating the small stuff, you know, you asked for it. It came It whooped your ass. Just take the ass whooping and just, yeah. you know. You got this. You got it. I'm yeah. talking to myself. Thank you very much. There you go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's like that book. What's it called? The Secret. Have y'all read that book? No, but I, I saw the movie. I oh. hear a lot about it, but I'm just I saying. Read the book. When I hear uh-huh. about it, it just sounds it's like, like... man. It's all about manifestation. Yeah. That's and what it, asking is about. That's what manifestation is. is. It's just asking for what you is. want. You not asking. That's the secret. Right. That's the secret. You yeah. Read the book. <laughs> It ain't no secret. I have not, I have not read that. Okay. I haven't either, but I've heard enough about it. Oh. And I'm just like. Oh, it's really good. To me, Some I'm people like, try to make it seem like it's like this mysterious it's thing. Super, oh, it's powerful. And it's just. Oh. I mean, it it's can change your life. Because it can work if you will align yourself for it. It's mm-hmm. always the simplest mm-hmm. things, though, y'all. People be hoping yeah. for this, like, elaborate, like answer like even yeah. in um what's the other book that i like that by pablo what's his name what is it uh oh i never read it it's uh um, y'all talk about it all the time look at me i know Linda, the, the you book. know what we're talking about the book it had four part four part or nothing no agreed. not that not one no. It's, no it's pablo um mm. Have to look it up. Yeah, most one of the most part, the alchemist. The alchemist. Yes, that's on the that's I haven't read it. Yeah, I, um, it, yeah. it's really good. But it's the good. lesson in it, Linda, is like the most simplest thing. Yeah, it's just like dang. Yeah, I've read it. That gosh, you read that like two, three years ago, something like that. But Jeanette and Linda, with that book, do you feel like it's but goes all the way back to the simple things of taking action? Or you know, you know this deep down already, but I'm gonna remind you. Yeah, it's more of re- I think it's more um reminders and more what's the word mm-hmm. I'm looking for? Kind of like reiterating or mm-hmm. re- reiteration of what you already know mm-hmm. and what already lives within you. That's what I think it is. Right. It's kind of like what we talk about reinforcement of yes, yes. basically like everything that you have is mm-hmm. within you, within but then you. and then but also like everything out here is aligned for you yeah you yeah. literally just have to step it's in good. It's good. Like, it's really oh good. No, i guess yeah hard. it does kind of go back to the action Linda. i mean it because it basically like he would not 
he universe she guy whatever y'all want to call it yeah. my my god the most high what i call him mm-hmm. created each and every one of us with our own very unique gifts right some of us have some special talents to go with those gifts right Mm-hmm. but everyone has a unique gift and purpose and so if he gave that to you that he would have also set you up to be able to fulfill it use them but he gave you free will where like you can go and do it or you, you can, can do whatever you want to do but when mm-hmm. you be running in the brick walls or you be feeling yeah. lost you mm-hmm. be feeling down mm-hmm. think of, you probably are not living in your purpose mm-hmm. right Yep, your purpose and what I speak to your zone of genius. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you just gotta walk right. into it. You have to believe in yourself and believe lean that with it. That rock you want with it. Lean with it. Rock you. with it. That's right. We got all the puns today because you know we have we each have a particular set of skills. Particular sense. What's, what movies that from? Go. I know Miss Nancy knows. Oh, Miss Nancy. I'm going to let my mother take one from my Come team. On. I got three seconds. What's it? Say it again. I have a particular set of skills. Mommy, what is it? I'm thinking of Napoleon Dynamite. And he is like, what kind of skills do you have? He's like, I have bow hunting yeah, skills. I have. I have. Set of skills. <laughs> it's from Taken. Liam Neeson. Mommy oh, knows. No, no. He's on the phone. I've seen those, but I don't know oh. them. Okay, well, your your mom knows. Hey, Miss Nancy. Yes, yeah, she knows. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> well, well, no. So mine is from Napoleon Dynamite, and him is um, <laughs> Napoleon and Pedro. Napoleon Dynamite. Linda. Oh, uh-huh. you did not watch Napoleon Dynamite. Well, it is the does. dumbest, funniest. It is a Stanley movie thing. You will <laughs> ever. Let me tell you. I tell everybody you gotta watch she it. It's a Stanley thing. But the first, like, so the first time I watched it, I was like. So I was so confused. I was like, is this current? Is this 2000s or is this? Right. But then when you watch it a second time, it's like, I'll be, I'll be crying laughing the whole time. But Napoleon and, and um, Pedro be talking and was talking about this. He's like, well, you know, girls like guys with skills. He's like, I got skills. He's like, what kind of skills? Yeah. He's like, bow hunting skills. <laughs> what? Bow hunting skin. They he said hunting. all kind of random stuff like I got yeah, archery. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, really? So when you said that, that I was listen, like, that's that's that be Jeanette. That's Jeanette, not that's our skill. Right, that's right. Mm-hmm. Sagittarius. That's hilarious. Y'all got to watch yeah. it. La Fonda. Kit was a mm-hmm. little La Fonda. Mm-hmm. He was hilarious. Anyway, back on track. So back to asking. Yes, please like rate review on our on the platforms that you listen to it would be super helpful and um we would love for you to become one of our members and join our membership group um you can go on our website in the heart of chat.com slash membership and learn all about our membership what it has to offer we have some amazing heartbeats that are in there right now we do workshops you get discounts on uh, future paid events that we open up to everyone so we are asking um, if you want more of us, yes. you join us. Bring a friend. Yep. So, do yeah. you have any final words or remarks for the power of asking? But this was amazing. This was but, packed. I'm gonna listen to yes, this. Yes, live, no, live, live the life you desire. That's right. <laughs> Linda got a lot of show notes to write up on this one. I do. I'm like, oh my god, I'm great. You don't have to. You don't have to put Napoleon in the show notes. Are you sure? Yeah, I mean, I, I can I'm tag sure. it. No, I'll tag no. you to it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna tag you that. <laughs> Yes. You do not. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. Lots of lots of references. The Hibbits. Yes, 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 yes. The power of asking. I am asking all of the heartbeats to please follow us all over the world and come back next week and never week because it's going to be Fuego Baby. Come back. Yes, ladies. This was great. Bye.